Well, Ja Rule is hip-hop royalty with four Grammys, more than 30 million records sold, and collaborations with everyone from Ashanti and J-Lo to Mary J. Blige. This week, he was due to launch a big UK tour, but Britain's Home Office denied him entry over previous criminal convictions. Why someone like Mike Tyson was given special dispensation, but you haven't been. What's your message to the, the British Home Office if they're watching this? Let me in. The, the least surprising reaction came from your old rival, 50 Cent. But you've actually had a, a physical fight with him, have you? Who won? Absolutely. I did. Piers, come on. Really? Man. You did call him a pussy last week and told so, him to shut what? up. And that's facts. P. Diddy, Sean Diddy Coombs. So now a moment of reckoning for people in the rap industry? I... <sighs> Do you agree with Jay-Z? that it's outrageous his wife, Beyonce, has never got Album of the Year at the Grammys. That she has the most Grammys mm, She ever. does, she does. But never won Album of the Year? You play golf, Pierce, maybe I we'll do get play around golf. dinner something. I will absolutely demolish you. Oh, that's a challenge, I love it. I'm... You must have a little bet on it, OK? Absolutely. OK, let's have 50 cent on it, yeah? Absolutely. No, we're going to bet a little more than that. I don't do nothing for that cheap. <laughs> now, in the exclusive interview, Ja Rule joins me uncensored. Well, Ja Rule, uh, great to talk to you. Um, very disappointing for all your fans that you've not been allowed into Britain. How do you feel about it? Man, I'm, I'm devastated, you know. Um, as you guys say over there, I'm gutted, you know, by, by this uh, whole situation. You know, I, I put a lot into this tour. You know, this is my 25-year anniversary of uh, my first album, uh, Vinny Vedevici. And so, you know, I wanted to give my fans something special, you know, a, a, a really nice uh, uh, thank you for the 25 years of, of, you know, them being with me, you know, through, throughout my, my career, just to support. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I thought it was a goal, Pierce. I thought everything was fine. Thought, I, thought the visa was, you know, being, being cleared. And then at the last minute, I find out that it's not, and you know, it, it, it really sucks because the, the people who get hurt the most are the fans. You know, they bought tickets, these venues were sold, you know, 85, 90% sold out, you know, and, and that, that, that to me, Pierce, that hurts the most. That, that, and, and I really, really was putting on for the people. I, you know, I, I built an amazing, you know, stage for them, amazing, amazing set, so I'm, I'm hurt by this. Now, the reason that you were refused entry, uh, this involves uh, a previous conviction yeah. for which you served two years in prison on gun and tax evasion yeah. charges. Now, that's a matter of public record. Everybody knows about that. You've written about it uh, yeah. in a book. You've talked yeah. about it many times. There's nothing yeah. secret about this. Why is it only uh, right yeah. at the last well, stage? It, it, let, me, let, me just, let me just put a correction in there, Pierce. It was failure to file taxes. Okay. It's a little bit different from evasion, but go ahead. I'm no, sorry. no, it's important <laughs> to get it right. So, look, for those who don't know your story, yeah. just explain quickly what it was that got you that criminal conviction and the prison sentence. I mean, you know, it was a really silly conviction, if you ask me. You know, guns are legal all over the country. You know, people can get them now with, with, with minimal to no background checks, you know, in, in certain uh, cities and states out here in, 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 in America. So... It was a really silly conviction. Um, I, I, you know, I was pulled over in my, in my car. My, I had my driver. I was in the back of my vehicle. You know, um, usually if it's a regular stop, they talk to the driver, get his license and you know, registration of the car. If, if anything is, you know, wrong with, with, with that, then they, you know, they go further. But, you know, this, this just felt a little different. You know, there was three cop cars all around my car and, you know, they searched my car and they, and they found a weapon in my car. Well, you know, it, it was a weapon that I had, obviously, for my protection. I didn't brandish it. I didn't do anything with the weapon, you know, um, violently. You know, and so, and, and, and so I, I uh, served two years in prison for that and, and because uh, New York gun laws are very, very strict. Mm. And, you know, that, that, too, needs to be talked about, you know, um, um, on, a, on, a, on a different level, you know, how we can you know, maybe reconstruct some of these laws, even out in, in, in London. Maybe there's something we can do to talk about, you know, how artists can be led into the country, should be led into the country, especially after they haven't committed a crime in over 10 years or they haven't been in, in prison in over, you know, 10 years. And, and, and so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm just thinking that this needs to be take... You know, it needs to be taken a step further 
and and somebody needs to fall on the sword for for this for all artists to be able I mean to, what I'm what I'm curious you know, about into, um, to, to the country what I'm curious about is why it, why it was so late in the day that you suddenly get rejected I mean like I say this is this is if you just check your Wikipedia yeah. up it comes this is not a secret why do you think yeah. it's been left so late that, I don't know. That was the that was the really weird part to me. You know why they would allow us to start selling tickets and you know everything like that, and then and then for it to be rejected, it just didn't make any sense. You know, um, and the company you know that I did the tour with is a very reputable company out there, um, and and so you know, I, I don't I don't know where the mistake came in. Who you know who to, who who to point the finger at? I don't I don't like to do that, Pierce. You know, um, I like to take accountability, but. It's just, it's just a sad situation. But I'm working to figure out how I can get into the country, how we can get, you know... Well, um, well the interesting thing I know, thought, uh, John Rule, was this, is that... Into the country. I, I remember Mike Tyson, who's a friend of mine, known him a long time, interviewed yeah. him many, many times. He was allowed to enter the UK despite serving a three-year sentence uh, for rape. Uh, the yeah. Home Office gave him a special dispensation, exceptional circumstances, they called it. Uh, involving right. the fact that there were such huge amounts of money at stake when he fought Julius Francis in Manchester. And it struck me there's not a lot of difference right. between the huge amount of money at stake in that fight and the huge amount of money at stake with you, with this yeah. huge tour, you know, Cardiff, London, Birmingham, Nottingham, Leeds, Liverpool, 85% yeah. of the tickets uh, are sold out. That seems a pretty large amount of money yeah. to me. I, I'm just curious whether you understand why someone like Mike Tyson was given special dispensation, but you haven't been. I, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe Mike got you know some some pull that I don't have, or, you know, in up, up in the higher uh, rankings of, out there in London. I don't know, but um, you know, this is this is something that needs to be addressed, needs to be looked at. I, you know, there was a lot of money, like you said, left on the table, you know, and and having to be refunded. So you know, everybody's hurt by this and not just me and 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 all the other artists that were on the bill like how much will Lloyd this cost you personally Maya and, and kerry hilson but this this it's this cost me close to a half a million dollars and just in production you know so i'm i'm out some money but but you know that that that's not the the big picture the big picture is how do we solve this what is what is the solution to so this doesn't happen to the next artist that tries to come in, you know. I mean, the, the immigration, the UK immigration rules apparently state you'll be denied entry if you've been convicted of a criminal offence yeah. for which you've got a jail term of a year or more. That apparently is the criteria. Yeah. Yes. But you, so I, mean, when, I, 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 fit, I guess, I fit the criteria. Yeah. I mean, when, when were you last in the UK? Have you been here before? I haven't been in the UK. Um, it's been maybe like. 15 years, I think, something like that. So it's been a really long time. But you haven't tried to come in since your conviction? No, nah, you know, um, I don't want to do anything illegal, Piss. <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm not allowed in, then I'll just stay where I'm at. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, just assume for a moment I'm the Home Office Secretary. I mean, if I said to you, are you a reformed character, Ja Rule, what would you say? I mean, just look at my track record of, of, you know, what I've been doing over the last 10 years, 15 years since I've, you know, been convicted of these crimes. All the, you know, work that I've done in my communities and, and through other communities, you know, I'm, I'm building a school in Ghana, you know, this, this, this coming year, you know. So I, I've done a lot of philanthropy work, but that's, that's neither here nor there. I, I think the, the bigger picture is to look at a man's character, you know, look at how I carry myself, you know, I've been married 23 years, I have three kids with the same woman, you know, um, that's, that's, that's difficult in hip hop for a lot of guys. Impossible. <laughs> but, you know, in any, in any, in, in any, in any, um, uh, 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 you know, genre music or, or you know, entertainment uh, industry is, is hard, you know, um, just in life itself. So I think, you know, some of those things, you know, can be looked at as well, not just the fact that I haven't been in trouble in 10, 15 years. What's your message to the, the British Home Office if they're watching this? Let me in. No, no, <laughs> no uh, you know, um, <laughs> I'm just, I would, I would really ask the question, you know, um, what, what can we do to change the law? Because the law is the law. And um, I, I would want to work with whoever, you know, in government to see how maybe there can be some exceptions, you know, some clemency 
to artists that are coming over to entertain and, and you know, create jobs for, for, you know, people in the UK as well. You know, I used a lot of vendors that were over in the UK for my staging, for my lighting and these things. So, you know, those type of things I think are important as well. Do you think if Mike Tyson was let in for exceptional circumstances based on the amount of money at stake, that by that criteria, you should be given the same consideration? I, you know, I, I think so. I, I, because there's a lot of money at stake here, obviously. Um, a, a lot of unhappy, you know, ticket holders. Um, so, yeah, I, I think there should be some type of criteria, um, you know, when there's a certain amount of money, you know, at stake, so. What's your message for your that's fans? That's a start, Piers. That's a, that's, a good, that's a good start. I think, listen, if I, I'm not your advisors... Message to my fans? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not your advisors. If, <laughs> I'm, if I was your legal team, I'd certainly be looking at what happened with Mike because I remember all that happening. Um, in fact, it was, I mean, this well, is... Well, you know, you know how they did, that's, that's case study. That's a great case study, so... It's a very I'm good sure case we'll study, yeah. that, you know, after, after this interview, yeah. Um, but to your previous question, my message to my fans, you know, my fans know I love them. Um, I, I go I go the extra mile for all my fans. You know, I'm one of those artists that, that rarely turns away, you know, pictures and, you know, autographs and stuff like that. If I'm eating, no. If I'm eating, please, let me eat. <laughs> <laughs> After I finish, I will oblige. <laughs> but, you know, I, I love my fans to death, and, and you know, we'll, we'll figure this out. Even if I can't get into the country, me and my team are looking to do something, you know, very, very special, maybe just for the U.K. fans, like, you know, maybe like a free live stream type of uh, uh, performance situation with all of my, you know, uh, production that I was planning to put on. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. So that's not etched in stone. So don't, 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 don't okay. take me to town on that. But I'm, I'm trying to work something out right now. Well, the, the least surprising reaction to your, your uh, issue came from your old rival, 50 Cent, who replied to your post on X by saying... Ha, 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 ha. I did not have nothing to do with this bleep not getting in, lol. He added LMAO, laughing my ass off. I got juice all over the place, sucker. Uh, so he was obviously thrilled that you weren't allowed into uh, this country. What's your response uh, to 50 Cent? I, uh, I think I responded. I'm cool, you know. I don't. I don't get into the to the back and forth, you know. I think. Um, well, you did. You did it to a all that back and forth on the internet. Well, you you, you, know, you, we call, you called him. So I'm cool. You called him N word. You pussy. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was quick and to the point. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you two have been going at it 25 yeah. years now. You know, not me actually. You know, um, I'm 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 cool, Pierce. I don't. Like I said, I don't get into I really don't do social media like that at all. You know, um, I post, from, you know, of course, to promote some of my things and, you know, that, that sort of thing. But I'm really not the social media guy like that. And so, you know, I'm not, I don't really get into the back and forth with him like I that. I mean, you told Vlad TV, I hate the fact that every time I do an interview, he has to get brought up in my interview. I hate we're connected in that way. We really have nothing in common yeah. other than we're from the name, same neighbourhood, which yeah. is obviously Queens in New York. I'm a stand-up uh, yeah. N-word. You can say it, I can't. He's not. Um, I mean, what do you mean by that? I mean, you are both... You're obviously similar backgrounds. You come from the same part of New York. You've both been huge hip-hop stars. Um, why are you stand-up and he's not? I mean, I mean, you've you got to kind of be from um, where we're from to understand um, the, the terminologies of that, but... You know, um, it's some of the things that I spoke about earlier. You know, those are real man things. You know, taking care of your family, taking care of your kids. You know, um, you know, putting putting your kids through college. You know, being a real father to your to your family and your and your and your, and your children. You know, those are stand up things. You know, so in that aspect, you know, I'm I'm very very stand up. And why is he not stand up by comparison? I mean. Piers, you're a pretty smart man. I'm, uh, I'm assuming you, you, you probably know the answer to that question. Well, I listen. But, um, I've known, yeah, I've just, known Fifty you know, Cent a long time. Yeah. I personally interviewed him yeah. several times. Always got on fine with him. But you, t you guys have had this thing going for yeah. a quarter of a century, 
Uh, and it's interesting to me that you. you know, well, next you, time you interview, next time you interview yeah. him, Pierce, ask him these questions about me. Well, I will, but but just when I do interview him, yeah, I, I want to better say to him. Ja Rule says you're not a stand-up guy because, fill that sentence for me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he knows. You know, he knows. Yeah, but I don't. He knows. But well, that's okay. You're not supposed to, Pierce. <laughs> well, you can give me, give me it some, give me know, some meat you know on the bone. Give me some bit of the beef bone. Listen, Pierce. I, listen, I'm not here to talk about this. I'm here to talk about my tour, my UK fans that I love, and and, and how we're gonna, you know, spin this situation into a, a, a great one for them, and, and bring them this tour. So 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 that's that's the. The gist of what I'm trying to do and what I'm doing. So, but if, if he's watching, I don't, I don't worry about what he's talking about. If he's watching this interview, what's your message for him? I don't have one. Good luck to him and everything he's doing. He's another black man. I wish all of us luck. I'm, I'm looking for everybody to win. I don't have competition, Pierce. I compete with me. That's it. So, you know, those things. Like I said, there's there's no message to be sent. Who there's would no... out of interest? Who would yeah. who would who would win if you had a fight? That's happened already too, Pierce. So really? You got to do your research, man. Well, we, I did a bit we, of yeah, research. We, I knew that yeah. various members of your gangs had, yeah. had traded, but you've actually had a, a physical fight with him, have you? Yeah, absolutely. Who absolutely. won? Yeah. I did, Pierce. Come on, really? Man. Tell all right, me more. I, I'm done, Pierce. Are you asking all these crazy questions, man? Like, <laughs> you want you want the you want the fluff and flatter. I don't I don't I don't I do just, that. I'm you just know what, Joel? I've I'm, always I've always I'm a wanted cool, to interview you. Laid back I have, individual. I've always I wanted to interview you. You're in the news. No, no, no. Foolery. You're in, in the news. I'm just letting you know. No, look, you're in the news here for the reasons we've discussed. I think I've given you a very uh, fair yeah, chance absolutely. there. Um, absolutely. And some probably quite good advice. I'm just absolutely. curious. I want to just touch on a few other things. And that, that rivalry, obviously, okay. him tweeting what he did is just another example of this rivalry that never goes away. And I'm just, it's just, I'm curious, knowing him. It's a one, it's a one sided you're just thing. It's a one sided thing, Pierce. Yeah. It's a one sided thing, Pierce. You never see me say anything about him. I just mind my business, do my business. And, 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 and you know that because you see me at my place of business. You did call him a pussy last week and, and told so, him to shut know, up. That's, that's the, and that's facts. And so <laughs> I don't need to speak about facts. What, What's understood don't need to be explained, Pierce. <laughs> I mean, you say you never that's respond. Just, that's just reality. You man. say you never respond. You do occasionally. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just letting you know, Pierce. I, I don't. I don't do the back and forth foolery. Understood. Let me just ask you about a couple of other yeah. things that have been in the news. Um, one is the, the the big controversy about. Uh, I think a, a guy is a friend of yours, uh, which is P Diddy, Sean Diddy Coombs. What's your take on what's happening with him? Again, man, um, you know, it's another another black man in this industry going through some unfortunate, you know, circumstances. And so, you know, I wish I wish him luck as well with, with everything he's going through. And, you know, I, I you know, and, and, and if there's victims in this, you know, I, it, you know, I, I can't speak on things that I don't know about Pierce. Mm -hmm. And so I, I try not to. <laughs> I try to leave those things to, to, to those who do that. That's why people have podcasts and stuff like that. They talk about these things back and forth. I don't, I don't really get involved with that. But, yeah, I, I wish everybody, you know, love and prayer. And, and I mean, some people, and, and some people thought it was pretty... Tough. Right, some people thought it was pretty amazing that the rap industry did not get the, the treatment from the Me Too campaign that other... Uh, parts of the entertainment business got. Do you, do you think that that's now happening? Is there now a moment of reckoning for people in the rap industry? I, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very um, unfortunate thing for, for, for the victims of these, you know, uh, situations. And, you know, for the, for the, for the people who also you know, being accused of these situations. You know, um, I believe in, in, in justice and I believe in the, you know, the crime fitting the, you know, the punishment fitting the crime. I mm. believe in that as well. And, and, and if people get convicted of the things that these people are saying, then 
they should be put in jail. But I also believe on the flip side, if people are lying about these things, they should also be taken to court, tried, and be put in prison as well. Mm. So, you know, I think it's a, it's, it's a two-way street when it comes to these things, you know? What do you feel, uh, Jarrell, about the, the ongoing debate about lyrics by rap stars over the years, um, particularly misogynist lyrics and so on? Um, do you feel... Yeah. What, what do you feel about that generally? You've made a point in this interview of talking about the fact you've been married a long time to the same woman, you've had three kids with this woman yeah. and so on, and that is, you know, let's be straight, that is not the, the norm um, with rap stars, many of whom pride themselves on being very misogynist and having a lot of women and so on and so on. What do you feel about that? I mean, at some point, you got to look at it as what it is. This is entertainment, you know. Um, you know, you, you, you can't look at everything in entertainment and look at it as for fact or true or, or, or lead your life in that same way. It's, it's just entertainment. Same thing with films. And, and things of that nature, you know. So, what's up, Fausto? I'm doing an interview, baby. I'm live on TV. I'll check y'all later. I'll come golf with y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Who's that, Diddy? But, but, who? Was that Diddy or, or Fiddy? Who? <laughs> Faust, Fausto. That's my guy, <laughs> Fausto. You got jokes, Pierce. I see you got jokes. <laughs> see, I've never, I've never done an interview with you, Pierce, and I don't really watch too many of your interviews, mm. so I don't know your, your humor right now, but I'm getting it. I'm getting it. It's very British. Yeah. But just, just on that point, though, you, call, you... Do they call that dry humor? Do they call that very dry, dry humor? Very, we're very dry, yeah. The dry Brits humor. are very dry humor, yeah. 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 You yeah. shouldn't take everything we say too, too literally. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm cool. Uh, but on, but on that, but on that point, that question I asked, so you, so you, you wouldn't think though that misogyny is entertainment, right? I mean, people do think a lot of rap lyrics are misogynist. Do you, do you, a, do you agree with that? And B, well, do you think so it can a be? a lot of lyrics. I mean, there's rock lyrics that are misogynist. Right. Yeah, R and B lyrics that are very misogynist. There's country lyrics, very misogynist. Right. So don't just pin it on rap. Music is very massaging. Is, is and, that and sometimes is that right? I like that. Is that yeah. right, Jaro? Should it be? I don't think it's right or wrong. I think it's I think it's their craft. I think it's their their art, and I think people should be able to create whatever they want. It's misogyny. It's misogyny. And, as hang on, Jaro. Misogyny is not an art, is it? Uh, well. <laughs> If it's in a music, if it's in music, Pierce? So you're calling all of these artists that I just named, all of these genres of music that have misogynist lyrics, so they're not artists, that, that what they do is not art? I'm I don't think, I don't, honestly, I do not think, whatever the genre of the music, I don't think misogyny could ever be categorized as art, no. And nor should it. When it's just, when, when it's just, it's, well, all right, well, what about when somebody does a film and they put these types of things in films, a rape scene in a film, mm. uh, a, a, a shooting scene in a film, somebody gets shot. That's not art? Well, that's an interesting question. I mean, it depends how it's... We're artists. We're just telling... People are artists. They're just telling stories, too. They're just telling stories. These stories don't have to really exist. These things don't have to exist. Now, can, can we say that it's not your cup of tea? It's not the kind of art mm. you like? Sure. But it is their form of art. Yes. And freedom of speech and these things are very, you know, things that we have to, you know, try to uphold when it comes to the to art. When it comes to comedy, when it comes to film, when it comes to music, mm. we have to up, uphold these things for artists to be artists. Or, or, or art dies. I, that's how I feel. It's, it's just my opinion. On, on that, so right, let me... That's let me, how I feel let me, it so, listen, it's a, very, it's a very interesting, honest answer. Let me ask you, I mean, are you friends with... With Ye, can Ye? I don't know Ye uh, well, but, you know, we've met, but I don't know Ye well. I mean, I interviewed him. Um, you've seen what's happened to him. There's been a big attempt to cancel yeah. him. He seems to be making a bit of a comeback. Yeah. But did what he said, for example, which was categorised by many people as being anti-Semitic, you know, was that something that crossed the line for you? 
I mean, again, you know, I, I, Ye is Ye. He, he's 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 on his own planet, man. He says and does all these things, and they're not right. Some of these things, they're not necessarily right what he says. And like like I, you know, I was listening to the conversation you was having with the gentleman just bef just mm. before, and people can say whatever they want, Pierce, mm. but there's consequences to what you say. Right. <laughs> and so. I think Kanye is understanding that and he's feeling that. And, and that's with anybody. You know, um, I, I don't think it's right, you know, to 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 down any race or down any, you know, body at all. I think people should be able to be who they want to be and live their life and people should mind their business about it. That's how I live. And that's how I sleep well at night. Kids. <laughs> I mind my business. If you, if you see, I made a tweet recently and I said in my tweet, I said, let's make uh, in 2024, let's make minding our business a thing. Mm. Because people are too caught up in everybody else's business. These four last questions you asked me, I don't even care, uh, 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 Pierce, to be honest. It's not my business. But, yeah, but you know, no, I'll it, answer it, it for but entertainment my answer to purposes. That. <laughs> because no, I, no, this I get is it, entertainment. I get it. But, but my, my... Interviews are also entertainment. Yeah, you know? but of course. And you're being very, by the way, you're being very entertaining. But my, but my response to that would be, yeah. all the people I've talked about they have made this kind of thing their business. I mean, when Ye gives these... I mean, he gave an interview to me that was pretty outrageous. Um, and when you do that, you're putting it out there, you're making it everyone's business, aren't you? I mean, it's... it's when you do interviews, people are going to look at an interview and, and, and judge what you say or whatever, but it's still not none of their business. It, it's not... It, it, you know, you know what minding your business means to me, uh, uh, Pierce? The business that pays you. You ever heard that statement, mind the business that pays you? That's what I'm talking about. If you ain't making money from it, why does it concern you? Mm. Especially if it's not a moral issue or, or, or anything like that or a political issue or anything that you can go and actually have a, a participation in, a vote on or something in this nature. What do you care? Who are you going to vote for in the American election? I like how you just pivoted. You <laughs> I like how you just pivoted. Um, um, I, you know, um, I'm, 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 not a, I'm not a Trump, you know, um, fan, and so I, I'm, I'm not going to vote for him. So I, I don't know. I haven't made my decision yet. I don't know who's going to end up, you know, you know, winning the primaries, but we'll see. I mean, could you honestly vote for Biden, given the state he's in? Pierce, it's like, I mean, the last election was the same thing. It was like the lesser of two evils. Mm. What, what are we to do? Can we get a fresh batch of people to, to get in here that want the job? Nobody wants the job. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's weird. It's supposed to be the most coveted job in the world, you know, uh, to be the leader of the free world, but nobody wants the job. And so it, 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 it doesn't seem like it's such a great job. I went on uh, Charlemagne the Gods podcast recently and he has turned on Biden and he says that Biden hasn't done nearly enough for America's black community. Would yeah. you agree with that? I agree. I've seen um, Charlemagne's... Con you know, Charlemagne, he really feels burned because he really, really, you know... He, he, he went hard for that campaign. You know, um, he, he was he did, not yeah. so much on the Biden, you know, ride, but he was very much with, with Kamala, Kamala Harris. Mm. And, and that was, you know, he feels like he was duped. He feel like he was promised things, you know, that they were going to do for the black community. And he, he feels like those things weren't, weren't, weren't done, mm. you know, weren't even brought up. So, you know, I, I think he feels burned by that a little bit, but that's politics. That's politics. And that's, that's anybody that's ever dealt with a, a politician, I, I feel like they've, they've, they've gone through that in some way, shape, or form with trying to get things done in their, in their community, you know? So mm. it's not an easy job for any, anybody, any of these guys. Ja Rule, so, uh, quick question. How rich are you? Um, I'm good. I do well. How, how good? <laughs> Good enough, you know. I'm happy. That's 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 the well, important Let me give you thing. parameters. You All know, right, I don't, I don't let me give you twenty yeah. million dollars, fifty million dollars, a hundred million dollars, 
or more than $100 million? Which section are you in? <laughs> I'm in the section. That's what I'll just say. I'm, <laughs> I'm in the section, man. I'm, I'm sitting in the seats. That's all I can I say. I mean, you sold 30 million <laughs> records. I'm guessing you're probably in the... I would say you're in the 50 to 100. Am I right? I've been getting money a long time, uh, Pierce. That's 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 what I will say. I've been getting money a long time, you know. What? Um, but that's not. Um, that that you know, I'm I'm weird like that, Pierce. If you look at my Instagram and stuff like that, I'm not one of those artists that show off my stuff and right. show off my you know cars and things like. Because that to me is not what my community needs to see. I feel like my community needs to be inspired by other things, you know, investments, you know, stocks. You know, uh, philanthropy, you know, those things, I think, you know, education, I think those things are more important to, to, to try to show off. So, you know, when I got my, uh, I, I, you know, you know how you take those, those uh, like uh, Harvard online courses. Mm. <laughs> so during COVID, I took uh, the entrepreneurial course or, uh, for, you know, online course at Harvard. And, and I passed the course. I was so happy and proud to post that. Mm. But it didn't get no traction. Nobody cared. If I'd have posted my chain, it would have got more traction. But that is what's important to me. That is what I feel I like, like the that. message that I need to, 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 to push. And, and, and listen, I'm not sitting here trying to sound like no saint, uh, uh, Pierce. Trust me, I'm not. But I'm 48. Birthday just passed the other day. I, I feel like, I, you know, I'm an artist that's been through a lot. You know, I'm, I'm in the... I'm getting into the what they call the unk stages, what mm. they call your unk. <laughs> and, and, and the unk's supposed to pass on the knowledge. <laughs> you know, we're not supposed to be doing the Let same thing we were doing years ago. So. When, when, you were in, when you were in prison, what was the... Because clearly your life changed for the better when you came out, um, I would say. I mean, you, yeah. you can answer that. But what was, you know, when you were sitting there in that cell, what went through your mind and what did you determine to do with your life when you came out? You know, um, I, I used that opportunity to to better myself as a man. You know, I read a lot of books, a lot of self-help books, um, you know, really pulled from, from great men that have been through these situations like Mandela and Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. You know, I know that these guys have spent time in, in horrendous prisons, you know, especially Mandela. And, and if these, you know, men were, were able to come out on the other side better than they, you know, mm. went on went in on the inside, you know, I, I to me, to me that that was everything. That that gave me the strength to 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 do the things I did while I was in there. You know, I didn't have my GED. So, you know, I I, I, I accomplished that while I was there. I only had two years and usually guys that have that little, you know, shorter time, they just, you know, do what they do. And, and you know, work out a little bit, you know, whatever, and kill the time and, and, and go home. But I preach education in my household to my kids. And so I felt it was important that I not only preach it, but I, that I also live it, you know. And so I, I, when I got in prison, went, you know, took the GED test, got my GED, and then, you know, went on to, you know, take the, the entrepreneurial uh, uh, course from Harvard when I came home mm. during COVID. So, I, you know, I, I don't want to just ever be one of those pre people that talk about it. I, li I, I like to, to be about it as well, and I think that sends the right message. Yeah, I, I like that. I admire that. So I'm going to end with two controversial questions about the same person. One is, do you agree with Jay-Z that it's outrageous his wife, Beyonce, has never got Album of the Year at the Grammys? I mean, you know... It's, 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 it's competition, Pierce. It's competitive. And just because Michael Jordan won six championships, you think he didn't won seven? You know? I hear a lot of chatter. I hear a lot of people saying, well, she has, you know, 30-something Grammys or four. Mm. I don't know how many she has, but she has a lot of Grammys. She, she has, has the most. most. Grammys. She's won the most Grammys. Ha yes. Yes. I hear people saying that. And, and, and you know, as competitors... <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, I have those already. Those, those are in the can because I earned those. The one that I wanted and I feel I should have won is, is, you know, album of the year for some of my great work that I put through. I understand that. I understand that, you know, um, and, 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 and I understand he, what Jay was saying. Is Even he by right, their right? metrics, that doesn't work. Is if he she's right? The, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that, you know. <laughs> 
if she if she won, that she has the most Grammys. Mm, she ever. does. She does. For for various songs mm. on these albums, but never won album of the year. Even by their metrics, that doesn't work. I get what he was saying. Mm. You know, so so I'm a competitor. I'm never going to say, don't compete, don't want more. Don't, I have enough. For why? For what? Who competes like that? Nobody. And so, you know, um, I get it, and I'm not mad at it at all. What about her country music song? Did you think that it was a brilliant, groundbreaking development in her career, or do you think, as some people do, that it sucked? No, I actually like the song. You know, I play I play cards, man. I play Texas Hold'em, so I thought it was I thought it was clever. <laughs> um, but you know, black black people, you know, started country music. So what what's what's wrong with us diving diving back into Are you gonna do a country song? Country music? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> But um, but but I'm not mad at nobody that does it. I love I love to see all the black artists that are doing country music right now. I think it's really really dope. Well, John Rule, look, we've run out of time. Uh, I've loved talking to you. We covered a lot of stuff, and if you do get into the country, I hope, it. I hope you do. Come and come and see me in the studio for round two. I will, man. I will. I'll, I'll come and I'll definitely come and hang out with you, man. You play golf, Pierce? Maybe I do we'll play golf. Or something. I do play golf. <laughs> You want so to run a golf? What's, what's your handicap, Piers? 16. What's your handicap? 16. You? Oh, oh, we could we could play then. I'm, I'm like a 19. We could play then. Yeah, we can we can get it in. I will absolutely demolish you. Oh, that's a challenge. I love it. I love it, Piers. Now I got now I got to work on my game. I'm, and we got to have a little. By the time I get we've got to have a little bet on it though. <laughs> Joe Rupp, you must have a little bet on it, okay? Absolutely. Okay, let's have 50 cent on it, yeah? Absolutely. Abs uh, no, no, we're going to bet a little more than that. I don't do nothing for that cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rupp, great, great to talk to you. I'll see you on the golf course. For sure, Piers. Much love to you, man. London, I love y'all. See y'all soon, hopefully. Take care.